Now we know a few things already about the Black Army from Money Vidoc that explains briefly what the main points of Black Army is for us. And like previously, some of the new info from the Yellow Pass or the content we will be getting. But as of now, we have further in rumours that expand on the so called content we'll be getting, thanks to a Reddit user called Anonda9, who I'll link in the bottom of the description for you to visit his old posts. Now, just a note, this is all speculations from YouTubers, leakers, game sites and Reddit users that have all made different statements about what we'll be getting, but not much of this information has been fully explained and properly reinforced, as this is all speculation at this point. So, until then, Please remember to take everything I say and everything you hear from everyone else with a grain of salt unless it's stated from a Bungie dev or from Bungie themselves. And now, let's dive into what we currently got. From the leaks for Black Armoury, there's supposedly a new horde mode in Black Armoury where the more you survive, the better the loot will be and will be set on the new Earth Patrol area and features Cabal and Vex enemies. It will be similar to Escalation Protocol and Blindwell and has a unique loot pool attached to it which sounds cool and very RPG heavy and something that we have been requesting for a very long time. Now like Bungie, take this with a grain of salt as we thought we would get the same thing back in Warmind at first and in The Taken King but that wasn't the case. So whether Bungie has changed their mind and decided to embrace full RPG is generally hard to say at this point but I do hope they have actually changed their mind and decided to go fully in to RPG elements since Destiny really does play well into it. Now the raid layer is being stated to be 100% on Earth but a small statement from Anon said that another familiar but credible leaker leaked the following information that the raid layer would be on Titan instead of Earth but made a mistake and changed it back to being on Earth instead. Now this is something that a lot of players including me may have heard about with the raid layer being based on Titan where we will explore it and take on a unforeseen threat from the hive. Now whether this is true or not is still up in the air as we could visit Titan sometime later or within the DLC or such but at the current moment there's it's way too hard for us to suggest whether it's going to be based on Earth like the DLC or whether it's going to be based on Titan for a new activity since the titan at the moment is kind of bare bones and barren in terms of activities and players actually having the use to go back to the planet. It would be great if we go back to titan as I love the visuals of the area but as the DLC seems to focus so much on earth it seems to make more sense that the next raid layer will be based on earth but at the current moment there's no way for us to actually tell. Now the mistress NBC that we see in the vid doc is called Gaunt, a mistress exo that maintains the black armory. The story apparently is meant to focus on finding out what the armory actually is and uncovering Gaunt's secret. The campaign is also revolved around unlocking the black army at first which we know contains a new weapon variety called black and is supposed to hold the most powerfulest golden age weapons ever created which sounds crazy but interesting as we'll get a chance to explore more on golden age technology that we never really get a chance to explore until now. At the same time, we'll also explore Earth's secret even more and the Vex are involved in the storyline somehow which I'm confused on as the Vex can't visit Earth because of the Traveller and there's no other instances I can think of where the Vex may play a major role. So how they'll be involved in this is still up in the air but once we do find out, they may lead to a new event that could also lead to future or something major that could affect us in the near future in D3, D4 etc. Heavy machine guns are also making a return with the Thunder Lord being the first to release in the Festival of Light event which was something we already knew about by Bungie once they were talking about Forsaken and what's going to happen after the main major Forsaken DLC. They've also mentioned that Icebreaker and The Last Word is also meant to make an appearance which I'm going to guess we'll get through a questline either by an NPC or once we complete the DLC main story. Whether these two weapons are the only exotics from D1 we'll be getting is still unknown as we could also be seeing some return of the fan favourite of Solid Armors that could fit into D2 as well. Now I'm kind of iffy on the Icebreaker and Last Word as I know these are two weapons that the community have always said they've always wanted to come back. It's always been a fan favourite back in D1 so bringing it back in D2 sounds like it would fit perfectly for main players. Now whether they're actually going to bring these two back is still like I said up in the air. Everything I'm saying right now is all speculation and take everything I say with a grain of salt. 
If they do, if they bring it back, great. If they don't, then no biggie. Maybe the next DLC, maybe the next DLC after that, maybe D3, we don't know. But, like I said, I'm going to keep everything I've basically learnt with a grain of salt. And that, everyone, is everything I could find from the recent leak about the Black Armory, and what could be introduced in the DLC. What do you think? Does this pique your interest, or are you still on the fence until we hear more from Bungie? I know for a fact that usually when Bungie release these type of DLC, the smaller packs, they don't really have a lot of good content in it that usually lasts us for quite a while, aka Curse of Osiris. But hopefully, with this change of Forsaken and some of the ways they crafted some of the story, the lore, the weapons and such, hopefully they expanded on these smaller DLCs and made them more worthwhile and actually worth visiting in the near future again. I'm hoping. I really want these DLCs to be really great because at first Bungie is learning but Bungie does what Bungie does best and usually to create a good product but then mess up somewhere down the line so what do you guys think does it sound all good and promising does it sound a bit too much or like I said before are you on the fence and are you still waiting for Bungie to hear back let me know in the comment section and that everyone is the end of the video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did then leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't then by all means leave a dislike or understand, I'll go back over the video and I'll see what I need to improve on from the near future. But once again thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.